Oftentimes when you have these patients, you have to do either pelvics on them or um, bladders. You have to get a little bit lower than you think. And so you don't want to purge your patients out. So what I'll usually end up doing is kind of putting my hand under the waistband and then lifting it up so I can get to where I need to go. Okay. So I'm going to down a little bit. So we are used to, where's aorta distal? So we're used to seeing kind of iliacs, aorta distal coming down. So notice I'm going to rock my transducer inferiorly. I'm not really sliding, I'm just rocking. And then this is her pubic synthesis. So it's very bright. We've got this nice big shadow. And our post void, if we can't see a urinary bladder, that's our landmark to say, hey, we're there. We just don't see the bladder. So that's going to be your landmark. And she can probably tell you I'm pretty low on here, right? Yeah. Just make sure you're not like peeking around or sticking your hands in there. UV. All right, so our first image, we're going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. This is uterus. You guys won't need to worry about this. Vaginal canal, cervix, up to uterus. We'll see a little bit of endometrium. We're really going to just focus on this urinary bladder. All right, so we're going to sweep through for pathology from one side to the other, making sure there's no very scaries going on. Looking pretty good. And there's an iliac out here. So kind of where our largest width is, or largest length. I'm going to save this image. Now, we have, we're going to do, oh God, we want to do a volume, right? You know how to calculate volume? Mm -hmm. Length times width times height times 0.523. Or you can push the calcul uh, calculation button and go to volume. So we can go volume calc. It's going to ask me about diameter one. Yes, I want diameter one. So we're going to go from here. To here, so kind of the longest length across that bladder. And then to save this, I can either push enter here or I can double click down here. I'm a double clicker just because it's easier, and then we'll save that. So once it turns white, you know that measurement's been saved. Otherwise, you go to measure diameter two and it's like, there's no diameter one. Who are you talking about? So there's our first two images of the bladder protocol. Next up, we're going to go transverse. So switching to transverse, and so here we are transverse, we've got vaginal canal, coming into the cervix, going into the uterus, and then here's our urinary bladder. So we're going to sweep through for pathology, no hairy scaries. So we're going to go where we're going to think this is generally the widest. So freeze our image there, so it's going to bring up my menu, it's ready for diameter 2. So diameter 2, we're going to go across. Now, if I were to measure across here, it'd be pretty wide. If I were to measure across here, it'd be pretty narrow. So we're going to kind of split the difference and just go in the middle. Do we, do we have to clear the border on the top at all? It, well, it doesn't fit. No. Oh, okay. We've swept it. So basically, it's, it's, it is what it is. Okay. Out in the real world, we have that wide scan, and the GE, or excuse me, the Phillips has that wide scan where you can actually widen it and fit it. But in her case, eh, we're just putting it in. Okay. okay, so there's diameter two. I'm going to save him. And then it's going to bring up diameter three. So this is going to be my AP. So again, if I measure here, pretty narrow. Measure here, pretty deep. So we're going to kind of split the difference. Maybe go somewhere in the middle. 166 cc's. And a mil is the same as a cubic centimeter. So milliliter, they're interchangeable. So on your worksheet, sometimes they'll say mil, sometimes they'll say cc's. Okay, so let's look for some jets. So we're going to turn our color doppler on. We're going to widen this, which I normally don't like to do, right? But we're not really sweeping. And if we go down, so, okay, so we're going to start at the top. So I'm at the superior, and I'm angling down towards that inferior, and we'll see, especially with very full bladders, you'll see these kind of little subtle little bumps on the bottom of the, the bladder. And that's where our trigone is at. And so that's where we're going to be hunting around. And so I just kind of sit on this for a few minutes, maybe just do a very small sweep through, but you don't want to be like, hey, where is this thing? Uh, so there's one right there. Let's so trace it down to the rope. So there's our left. So left jet. How are you guys feeling about that one so far? Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of walking our way down that ladder, just kind of hanging out, waiting for that thing to show up. There's 
left again. Okay, right. You gotta get you doing your job here. But if the urinary bladder is a part of our exam protocol. No, but we're doing renals today, so okay. it's part of a renal exam. Okay. So I just want to get you guys some background on it before we hit it really hard to record. How many of those do you need? Just one, but I figured. Ooh. And then there we have the right one coming up. So this would be five lab checks. Why do they come in later? Well, they just do. They make their own, their own, their own case. Okay, so there's our bilat jets. So then we're going to have our patient use the restroom. I'm going to lower you down. Please go ahead and use the restroom. Your bladder is very full. So I want you to go twice until you're totally empty. Okay. 